Article 2 of the Uniform Commercial Code, or UCC, only applies to transactions involving goods. So, what's a good? Does software qualify? The answer depends on the nature of the software transaction, as explained in the 1996 case of Architectronics Incorporated versus Control Systems Incorporated. In September of 1987, Architectronics, a New York company, and Control Systems, a Minnesota company, entered a software development and license agreement. Under the agreement, Architectronics licensed its software prototype to Control Systems. Control Systems was to use Architectronics prototype to develop a new software product that would improve pre-existing computer-aided design programs. The agreement also stipulated that Control Systems would own the copyright to the new software product and grant Architectronics a license to manufacture and distribute the software to consumers worldwide. Architectronics agreed to pay Control Systems a royalty fee for each copy sold. In November, Control Systems backed out of the deal. Five years later, Architectronics sued Control Systems for contract breach in federal district court. If the UCC, which carries a four-year statute of limitations, applied to the agreement, then Architectronics's claim would have been untimely and barred. But if the UCC didn't apply to the agreement, then New York's general contract law with a six-year statute of limitations would have applied instead, making Architectronics's claim timely. Control Systems moved for summary judgment, arguing that the UCC governed the agreement. The district court took the motion under advisement.